Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once more. My name is Adam. Before we jump into it, here are the headlines. There is an English Premier League side interested in signing a Ghana Black Star striker. We are going to take a look at who the player is and also the club. We are also going to talk about latest updates concerning Kamal Din Suleimana, Ibrahim Osman, Tariq Lamte, and also two new additions to the Black Princesses as they prepare for the Under-20 Women's World Cup in Colombia among Sweden others. So guys, before we jump into it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also turn on notifications. Also, don't forget our JC giveaway is still running. The match is also about to end. And this is how you can get a free JC on Sports Corner GH. Make sure to comment under this video and any other video we drop here on this channel. Be part of the top three commenters at the end of the month and stand a chance of winning yourself a free JC of your choice. Very simple. Please make sure to participate. And also, shout outs to every single person watching. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. And please continue to support the channel. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and start with Brandon Thomas Asante, the Ghana Blaster striker, who plays his street with West Bromwich Albion in the championship. He was the club's highest goal scorer in the past two seasons. Last season, he scored 11 goals, and he's looking to improve on that. Because during preseason, he has scored in every single game they have played. And the current transfer update concerning Brandon Thomas Asante is that Southampton are interested in signing the player. When it comes to personal time, that is not an issue. Playing time, bonuses, salaries, that has been sorted. That's not an issue for Southampton at all. But then Southampton went further to inquire about the player from West Bromwich Albion and the conditions necessary to sign the player. But this is in its early stages. We are going to follow up on this and bring you more updates. But then I believe this is the reason why Southampton want to sign Brandon Thomas Asante. They are looking for a replacement for Chi Adams. Chi Adams was Saddam Tien's talisman and he's leaving to Torino. Now they are looking for a like-for-like -like replacement. If you take a look at Chi Adams and take a look at Brandon Thomas Asante, physically, they look the same. Their physique is almost the same. And I believe that Brandon Thomas Asante going to the EPL is good for Ghana, is good for the Black Stars and also the excitement of seeing Black Star players playing in the EPL. But then the problem would be adaptation. This player has no experience playing in the EPL. But then Southampton are also hoping that they can stay in the EPL. They are not looking to win it. They want to rather stay in it. The season where they were relegated, which was the 2022-2023 season, they only scored 36 goals through it during the whole season. And they are hoping to solve that issue. So bringing Brandon Thomas Asante in is just a step in the right direction. I hope this player proves his worth. I mean, it is possible he will be a big bank for Southampton in the English Premier League. You know, clubs like Southampton, they know they can win the EPL. They are taking players, nurturing them, and then, you know, sell them to big clubs. So, in Ghana, we call it Jiniro uh, Nation High. That is what Southampton are doing. So, guys, this is the latest update concerning Brandon Thomas Asante. We are going to follow up on this and bring you more updates. Moving away from him, let's talk about Benjamin Chivanyo. The Ghana under 17 captain. The latest update is that Ghana Premier League side is one why has signed the player from FC Corinthians. Now, this will not be his first time playing in the Ghana Premier League because last season he played for Great Olympics where they got relegated, but then he made only three appearances for them. But then I you know, aside all these things, he played very well for the under 17 during the Waffle Zone B tournament where Ghana plays fourth. We all remember the whole life history. Yes, Ghana plays fourth, and he was the captain of the side. In 2022, he was a big bang in Ghana here because in the UEFA Invitational Tournament in Serbia, trust me, this player played so well and in fact scored a hat trick against Serbia. Even in the KGL Under 17 tournament, he has been superb. And this player, I believe, he's been developed exactly Abdul Fatawi Shahaku was developed here in Ghana. He's going through the same route. We hope that, I mean, he ends up in joy and happiness. We hope to see him in the Black Stars because he's one talent I believe in a lot. And, I mean, this is the latest update concerning 15-year-old Benjamin Chivano. Now, moving away from Benjamin Chivano, let's talk about Kamal Din Sunemana. And we all know there are speculations and also rumors that Kamal Din Sunemana might be leaving Southampton because he's not getting a lot of game time at Southampton. There are clubs in French Liga who are interested in him. I mean, some have already sent proposals that have been rejected. But then in a preseason game, um, Southampton played against Bordeaux. I mean, they played a game in Spain. And I mean, Kamal Nguyen Suleimana wasn't bad. He came in in the second half. He didn't play a lot of minutes. But then he showed why the coach needs to play him next season. 
then that is enough for me. He's fit, he's happy, he's playing well, he's hoping for anything to happen, whether he stays at Southampton and play in the EPL or leaves Southampton to any club interested in taking or, you know, accepting his services. But then, there is one Ghanaian who really impressed me in the Southampton game. His name is called Samuel Amo Ameya. The guy scored a brilliant goal, eh? I was like, wow, this is a great talent. I mean, Ghana Football Association, we just need people. We just need talent. If you see the goal the boys score, eh? it is hard. Though. The dribbling, the precision, I mean, the technique. I mean, Samuel Amo Ameya is, is the guy. He is the guy, very young guy with Southampton. And I believe this guy is going to do great things. If the GF is watching this, I beg, I beg you, I beg you, start talking to the boy. Be part of his development because this guy has something. He can be part of our junior national team. Because Charlie, the technique he's showing, and this player already, he's been integrated into the Saddam team uh, first team. And I believe that it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. So guys, that is the latest update concerning Kamal Bin Suleimana featuring in Saddam team's pre-season game against Bordeaux. Southampton won that game by three goals to two. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about Tariq Lamte and also Ibrahim Osman. Now, Ibrahim Osman signed for Brighton and Hove Albion from North Zealand. And, I mean, I think this is his first game with the whole North Zealand team and everything. Now, you can see him, you know, in, in the first team that played 45 minutes for Brighton and Hove Albion against Kashima Antilles. Now, that game ended in a 5-1 win for Brighton and Hove Albion. They are currently in preseason in Japan. And Mibari Gosman had some few minutes played with the team. He's still adjusted. And I believe Tyreek Lamte is going to help him out. So, in that Bison the whole album team, I believe there's going to be a lot of competition in there. Especially for Ibrahim Osman's position. The competition in there is going to be hard. Because the players, they are all great. And I believe he's one player who, who is up for the competition. And I just hope to see him get game minutes in the EPO. But then I'm happy... He has been able to play with Brighton and Hove Albion where they just say playing preseason alongside other players. Tariq Lante is in there. Simon and Degra, I mean, he's familiar with the boy. He's also in there. So adaptation wouldn't be a problem for Ibrahim Osman. And we believe that he will come good. He will come correct when the pre-season pre ends and also the season starts. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about the Black Princesses, the Ghana Under-20 Women's National Team. They are preparing for the Under-20 Women's World Cup in Colombia. That is going to commence on the 31st of August. Now, there have been some new additions, and Charlie, I like what they are doing. I mean, they are scouting players. They are looking for the best of the best and bringing them into the team. Now, the picture or the video you are seeing here is Helen Alon Alomeni. Helen Alomeni. Yeah, she's the new addition to the Black Princesses. You can see some of the videos and everything. Now, the next player they have also added is a goalkeeper called Gina Kela Sapon. Gina Kela Sapon. She's also a goalkeeper with the Black Princesses. Me, the way that they are players, I have him that they will win the, the, the trophy. Yes, I have him they will win the Under 20 World Cup because the Black Princesses, Charlie, they are not a joke. They are not blasters. So they will play proper football, proper football, create chances and score goals. Yes, that is why I believe in them. But guys, this is the latest update I have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players, which includes. Southampton is interested in Brandon Thomas Asante. Let me know your thoughts about it. It's on Jumai signing the Ghana under 17 captain uh, Benjamin Chivano, Sarit Lamte and Ibrahim Osman in Brighton of Hove Albion's preseason. And Kamal Din Sulimada and Samuel Amu Ameya in Southampton's preseason. Let me know your thoughts about all this down below in the comments. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we will like.